No one wants to be accused of doing a data dump as a presenter. Neither do they want to turn in a book report when they propose a new strategic plan to the executive management team, or worse, when they write a sales proposal. Instead, they hope to be persuasive, to build a strong case for their idea or plan. But in the process of trying to put their best persuasive spin on a presentation or a document, sometimes they move too fast and they fall into the quagmire of faulty reasoning. Let me mention some common reasoning errors that you may want to check for in your own presentations and in your own documents. One, force-fitting an analogy. Let's say you use an analogy to explain two things, how they're alike, and then you get carried away. Maybe you say, a maintenance agreement on our copier is like an insurance policy on our automobiles. Well, yes, they're similar. They would help someone understand the idea of a prepaid maintenance agreement, but it doesn't follow that the two agreements are alike and always. And insisting that they are in order to make your point is faulty reasoning. Another reasoning error, generating from a single case. Let's say your sales manager in Tupelo feels uninformed by headquarters about introduction of new company products and marketing campaigns. So therefore you reason and you communicate back to headquarters that all your sales managers feel uninformed on important new developments. Again, that's faulty reasoning. It's going to chip away at your credibility. Another reasoning error, focusing on all or nothing. You consider all ideas as a package deal. You attempt to persuade your audience or your readers that they have to accept all of what you say in your presentation or none of what you say. You continue to insist that products X will meet either all of your organization's needs or none of your needs. You insist that your division will have to reward every intern with perfect attendance every year or to reward none of those interns for perfect attendance. That's faulty reasoning again.